Welcome back to Natal B Reefing, and um, this is the uh, first part of, well, second part actually, of the new tank. So it's the glass flashback, the same thing that you would put in when you, in the back of your kitchen. Um, it's just a solid pane of glass. It is similar color to the wall, but a little bit different to offset it. The tank will stand in front of it. It takes up almost the entire length of that thing. Maybe not myself, but my mates. Um, so yeah, there you go. It's there right to the top. Now the reason why it goes to the bottom and not just halfway up is because the Cade cabinet has a hole in the back above the sump. So I wanted to protect the wall. Nandi, that's enough. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I wanted to protect uh, the wall from splashing from the sump and then from the top upwards, obviously with splashing and movement and whatever. So that's that. The other thing, which is part two or part one, whichever way you look at it, is this. So this is the original um, plug points. And this, these are four new plug points that we've put in and they've been put in on their own circuit. So um, on the outside where the circuit board is, there's a little main switch thing that's purely for these. They run on their own circuit, there's four of them. And the Cade tanks come with 16 plug points built into the cabinet. So, and that comes on two. So I'm gonna have two that will, one for the one eight, one for the other eight panel. And then these two will be spare. I don't know what I'm gonna use those for. I think one of them will be for the controller because the controller needs to be plugged straight into the wall, I think. Um, but anyway, that's that for now. And um, yeah, this is the place where the tank will go. So um, looking forward to step one, step two, step three. I bumped my head on that. Uh, there you go, thanks.